poet. If you want to know what makes for a good TED talk, I would say, first of all, there's no formula. I wrote the Four in the Morning talk as a response to my first TED. I went to TED in 2006, I was a performer, and I saw these people talking about stuff. And what was interesting in a very TED way is that they were all experts at something. And I'm a pretty informed and intelligent person, but I'm talking to an expert, right? If this person says there are green men on Jupiter, I'd be like, yeah, you know, I don't, you know what I mean? And it made me realize that because they're so accomplished, and because you actually cannot even begin to question their assertions, they could tell you anything. Over and over, if you look at the talks that really make an impact, that people really remember, that they download you know, millions of times online, it's a speaker making a connection. There are a few tips that work across you know, almost any genre of storytelling or communication, live, video, you know, online, campfire. They're just real basics. I mean, and that's what the good news, because with just three or four different techniques, you're at least going to get to a, you know, a B-level talk. First and foremost, if you only had 20 seconds to explain to a young person you know, how, to public, how to do public speaking, eye contact, eye contact, eye contact. There's, there's, no, there's no substitute for this. It, a, giving a perfect talk is never memorizing every word you're going to say and then saying every word that you want to. I think first-time speakers think that, right? Perfect means perfect delivery, not even close. I'd mess, I could mess up every sentence if I just showed people that I really cared. In fact, maybe in the course of telling people that I really cared, maybe I would mess up sentences because I'm so excited about getting my message out. So eye contact, smile, and actually connect with people, that's a good call.